Morning, guys. We are on a new book, the book of Hebrews, and we're going to be reading from chapter 1, verse 1. Uh, the book is uh, written to those Jews who are on the fringes of um, coming to Christ and accepting Him. And so we're not too sure who the author is, but the author is very much convincing them of who Jesus is, that He's come, that He is God, that He's come to fulfill all those Old Testament things, and that everything is about Him. And so the, the book uh, starts off by saying in verse 1, God, after He spoke long ago to the fathers and the prophets in many portions and in many ways. And so the Hebrews would have known uh, Moses, uh, he would have known the high priest, and, and as we go through the book, the author will explain how Jesus is far higher than Moses, far higher than the high priest. Um, but they all sort of known the prophets and all their books, the minor prophets, the major prophets, the Torah through Moses. They would have known those books and respected those books. And God spoke through the prophets in many different ways, through visions and, and um, allegories and, and, um, and poetry like the Psalms. And, and so we had, they had God's word, and the Old Testament is God's word. But as Christ came and the New Testament was born, uh, God now speaks through Jesus. And so it goes on to say, in these last days, and we are in those last days, the last days started from when, when the New Testament was established and the, new ch and the church began. In these last days has spoken to us in his Son. And so in the past, in the Old Testament, he spoke through the prophets, but now he has spoken through a son. And God sent his son into the world to reveal himself to mankind that this is God in the flesh. This is what God looks like. This is how God loves. This is how God interacts. And so we now have a tangible um, way of seeing how God is very visibly. And so God speaks through his son. And who is the Son, whom he appointed heir of all things? So just as a son um, inherits all things and, and has takes over the work of a father and everything now belongs to him, in the same sense, Jesus, everything belongs um, to him. But not only that, it goes on to say, through whom also he made the world. And so... Um, the Hebrews would have understood that God made the world. They would have understood Genesis. Um, but here now the author says, no, Jesus made the world. And so we have lots of references to um, not only God making the world, but Jesus making the world. And what does that say? That says, to, tells us clearly that, that Jesus is God and that he is one with God. Um, many, many scriptures talk about Christ and him coming. Um, Romans 11 verse 36 for from him and through him and to him are all things to him be glory forever amen everything is held together through Jesus everything is about him and everything points to him Colossians 1 16 for by him all things were created here's another uh, verse talking about him creating in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And so it's for his glory that they were created and they were created by him, Jesus. Um, Daniel 7 verse 13, I saw in the night visions and behold the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man and he came to the ancients of days and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that at all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. So here's God um, sending his son and giving him the air and the power and the right for all nations, all kingdoms, all languages. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. Every other kingdom gets destroyed but the kingdom of Jesus is eternal uh, Matthew twenty eight eighteen, and Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me and so every 
authority. Um, it's all is all um, has been given to Christ. John 1, the last one, verse 3. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And so there's so many scriptures we could spend um, hours actually talking about those that, that reflect and point to Christ. But there were just a couple there. So I trust you have a wonderful day. God bless.